Kirk Young here from LearningGolf.tv. Today talking about the best golf swing or the easiest golf swing you could ever learn. And I call it the best golf swing. It's simply based on my 25 years of experience in teaching this simple concept. Before that, having taught conventional golf, I understand the differences. I understand it's possible to improve with conventional golf as well, and I helped a lot of people do so. It's just a lot easier to improve when you set up on your impact plane. But what I'm gonna do here today, I'm gonna to present a seven step learning program for you. I'm gonna go through step by step as quickly as possible so that you can get a basic understanding of my setup for impact golf method, which there's absolutely no doubt, it's the easiest way you could ever swing a golf club. And I'm sure you're going to understand the logic of it once you've viewed the seven step program. First, do me a favor, click the red subscribe button here below and also accept notifications for my channel so that as I release new videos and there's going to be a lot of them that will help you improve your game uh, you'll be notified so simply uh, click the button subscribe and you'll get all of my videos my goal is to help you improve your golf game whether you ever visit one of my golf schools or join my membership program that's up to you but I want to help as many people improve their game as possible so that you can enjoy this great game of golf without having to spend a lot of money to do so. So my membership program is very inexpensive. You can check it out. That allows you to send in videos for my review as well. So check that out on my website at learninggolf.tv. Seven steps starts with how we hold the golf club. We want to make sure that when we hold the golf club that we're able to create leverage in the golf swing. We don't want to be letting go with the fingers, but the main idea is then to hold the club in such a way, and I'll start out like this. A neutral would be here, where the back of the hand is flat, and the leading edge of the club face is horizontal. So it looks like this. And that would be neutral. Some of you with stronger grips, don't worry about it, because you're already used to compensating for that. And I want fast improvement. My goal in teaching is I want people to see my instruction and improve immediately in most cases. Some of you might have to work a little bit more. It depends where you are. But my goal, if you come to me for lessons, you come to my golf school, you join my program, I want you to improve. If you're not improving, I want to figure out quickly why and adapt the swing to fit you. So my goal is always to customize the swing to fit each individual. So basically the grip, this would be a neutral position. The club face is square. If you're a little bit stronger, it's there but I wanna make sure there's an angle here between the leading arm and club. And when we set up with the leading arm, I want the leading arm, the wrist to be uncocked, and I want the club pointed under the leading arm. So when you view it from face on, you'll see the club is pointed under the arm, not towards your belly. So that's one of the main points. When we get the grip right, we can cock the wrist like this. And when we're set up, it looks like that. Then we bring in the trailing hand, basically supinate the hand away from the target. So it's like this, about 45 degrees. We're gonna bring the hand in from the side underneath. It looks like that. So it's basically putting the trailing arm in a position where it's not going to have to rotate to square the club face through impact. And that's what makes this the best way to swing a golf club and the easiest way to improve at this game is simply because of this setup, wrists are uncocked. They're gonna be there at impact anyway, and that's why we're setting up this way. We're setting up for our impact position, as opposed to conventional golf, where we set up here, and then at impact, it's here. If you don't believe me, check out any video of any of the top players. You can put any name in, Justin Thomas, uh, Rory McIlroy, Tiger Woods. Look at the down the line view, and you'll see setup is here, impact is here. It's always in a position through impact where the wrists are uncocked. So set up, lead hand grip is here. We're gonna bring in the trail hand from underneath. Making sure as we set up, the trailing shoulder is back. It doesn't come out. And for step two, then we're getting into the setup. So grip is first step. And as we put the trailing hand on the club, make sure the hands fit together. Um, I recommend an overlapping grip, so it looks like this. 
but 10 finger and interlocking will work as well as long as there's no space between the hands. Thumb of the trailing hand fits over and the back of the hand is fairly flat to the back of the trailing arm. So this is how we want to hold the club. Make sure that you can cock the wrist and then we'll move on to step number two, which is the setup. I'm going to go through the setup quickly, making sure that we're aiming our toe line at the target. I will do it like this, basically siding over the club at my toe line till the club's pointed at the target. Uh, you should check to make sure you're doing this properly. Ball position with an iron is just slightly forward of middle. If you want to hit a higher shot, a little bit more forward. If you want to hit a lower shot, a little bit back. Stance width, a little bit wider than hip width. Again, that's customizable. And as we're getting set up, then I go through the routine. Grip, aim. Then I'm going to bend forward with the knees bent. And I'm going to move the hips here towards the target. So the leading hip is over the leading foot. And then I'm going to bend forward from the hips making sure my spine stays neutral. I'm going to reach in from underneath. Wrists are uncocked. And then I'm in my setup position. So you want to make this a routine. I've written it down. I have it on the website. Uh, basically, uh, alignment. Basically, uh, left hand for me and my leading hand. Alignment, ball position. Bend forward, shift the hips. Right hand under, ready to go. Making sure that the right shoulder stays back and my spine stays neutral. So you get quickly used to it if you practice going through it step by step. So on the golf course, it just takes a few seconds to get set up and aimed, which is obviously one of the most important parts. Step three, impact. In the impact position, once we're set up, because we're set up already on our impact plane, all we have to do at impact is get the body turned towards the target. For each of you, that's going to be a little bit different based on your flexibility and what your body will allow. But we want to turn the hips. I use the feet and legs to move my hips. The leading leg is straightening. It's not going to be totally straight at impact yet, but it will be straight after impact. So basically, once you're in your setup position, use the feet to apply pressure to the ground. And we're going to just simply push, and that's going to push the grip forward. The head stays in position, and the hips and legs turn along with the upper body a little bit. Simply because the hips are turning, turns the upper body. Make sure the head stays in position, and it'll look like this. And the grip is forward ahead of the club head. It's very important to get impact correct is the most important part of the golf swing. So step three here is critical. Don't just skip over it. So make sure you get a feel for this because it's this step which is going to move the club head. And you can try this for yourself. Grab a golf club, pick it up, and just stand there. It doesn't even matter how you hold it. And try to move the club with your body, making sure the grip stays ahead, and watch the club head. Notice how square it stays. You can also look at how straight. It stays pretty straight, the path as well. It also stays, if I move it down to the ground, it stays pretty level through impact. Now, let's take the club and do that. You'll see all of a sudden it's not straight, it's not square, and it's not level. So because of that, it's also hard to hit in the middle of the face. So getting impact correct, which is step number three, helps you keep the face square through impact, club head more level, path straighter, and hit the middle of the face. So very important. The next drills in step four are going to take you through the entire golf swing. I'm going to just go through it here quickly. I have another video that has it uh, more in depth. And on the website, of course, there's about 10 reps of every one of the drills. But I wanted to get you an idea here of what it looks like. So once we're set up, all we're going to be doing is moving the club with three drills going back and three drills going past impact. So drill number one has us using the body turn to take the club to here. 
and then leave the club there and move the body back to the impact position. You'll notice the tension builds up a little bit and starts to move the club to impact. So that's the impact position for drill one, drill two. We're gonna take it back two thirds of the way to here, the wrist cocked a little bit. So it is a single plane swing. We're gonna take the club back on plane, cock the wrist, it should be on plane. And then we're gonna to start to turn. I leave the club here, turn, till the body turn brings the club to here. Make a short break here and then let the club come into impact. Drill three, full back swing, keeping this flexed, making sure the hip turns in, wrists are cocked, club should be on plane, same plane we set up on. It's basically going back on plane, it's on plane, we shift with the feet, which moves the hips, which starts moving the torso, rotating towards the target, moves the club into the impact position. My hips, everything's already in the impact position here. Release to impact. That's drill three. Drill four, from the impact position, we're going to just rotate a little bit more of the body, a little bit more rotation. And drill four is just to here, where the club head is just outside the leading foot. Drill five, we continue the rotation. My head stays in position. My club is pointed towards the target with the toe of the club a little bit over not straight up, a little bit over to the, for me to the left. So from there, drill six, turn all the way through. And again, the amount you turn is individual. It's based on your own flexibility. For everyone, that's a little bit different. Obviously, the more you can comfortably turn, the better. Uh, for that, as part of the setup, also, uh, you'll notice I have the leading foot turned out a little bit. That does make it a little bit easier to turn there so if you feel some tension in the leading foot or ankle uh, ankle mobility is also important for golf as is obviously uh, knees hips shoulders uh, spine thoracic spine all of that's important but that's where the limitations are going to come in so uh, turn the foot out a little bit if you feel tightness there i i would always do that as it makes it easier to turn through so that was step number four, drills one through six. And we're gonna move along to step five now. And step five is one of the most important that you'll do in my learning program and in the golf schools. I really stress step five as very, very important. And that's ball striking drill number one. So for the ball striking drills, all we're going to do is use the first six drills we just did without golf balls. And we're going to simply move through them in the most simple manner possible, making sure that I get set up properly first. So once I'm set up properly for ball strike and drill number one, which is in step five, I'm simply gonna do this. I'm gonna turn back, drill one, and I'm gonna move to the position from drill four. So I'm gonna keep the club here for a second, and I'm gonna turn, and I'm gonna go through to here. And again, I'm gonna notice where is the club making contact with the ground. So here to here. Of all the people sending in videos for my review, the big mistake is the back swings to here and the through swings to here for this drill. I want you to make sure that you move from here to here. And so my members, most of the time when they're sending in videos, they end up doing ball strike drill number one, four or five or six times, or they start noticing themselves that it's incorrect and they take the time and learn it properly. And once you get this part of the swing correct, you'll notice that when you make a full swing, you're gonna hit the ball a lot better as well. My main point is this, if we can't move the club properly from here to here, what business do we have making a full swing and expecting good results? It's simply, you have to learn to move through impact properly first, and then we can make longer swings. It's not to say you can't play golf in the meantime because it's not perfect. It just means when working on the swing, it's most important to get impact correct first. And when you're done practicing that, go on the golf course and don't worry about it. But this should be a process of improving your golf swing step by step. Uh, members can send in videos for my review or visit a school. I have a lot of schools 
on my schedule for Florida and Ohio, or you can visit uh, Tony Griffin in North Carolina. So it would look like this, ball striking drill one is from here to here. Try to get a good rhythm, make sure in the finish that the grip of the club is not pointed towards your body. So I want you to practice holding the finish. And when it feels good, we'll go to the ball. And just do that. The ball went about 20 yards. Hold the finish. So moving to step number six, ball striking drill two is then just gonna be about a half a swing. And that's gonna be using drill two, which was to here, to drill five, which is here. Move slowly, make some practice swings first. Try to be relaxed. Super. And I'm gonna to try to use shot tracer on some of these. It doesn't always work, uh, but hopefully it should here today because I didn't hit it so high. This is a seven iron. You can do these drills with any of your golf clubs, uh, but I, I usually use a seven, eight, nine iron, six iron, something kind of in the middle. So try to get relaxed here. Pay attention to where your club strikes the ground because that's telling you how far you should be standing from the ball. So I see I struck the ground here. So I have to move that distance to the ball. The finish is right here. It's dead at my target. So once you get the, the feel for ball striking drill two, we'll move on to ball striking drill number three which is in our final step, number seven. So step seven, we're gonna move from here. Drill three was here. And we're gonna again finish in the position from drill five. So move slowly. This is a little bit difficult for people to stop here. To be able to do so, we need to make sure that we're getting our body turned through impact. And that will enable you pro-like contact and to keep the hands from ruining the golf shot. The hands should be relaxed. So basically, I'll make a couple practice swings. First one was a little bit fast, so I'll just go nice and slow. You're starting out. That's straight. Then after that, you've probably guessed it already. The next step, again in step seven, but ball striking drill number four. And ball striking drill number four has us combining drills three and six. So it's a full backswing and a full through swing, but start out doing it not at full speed, just to get a feel for it. Ball striking drill four, find your rhythm first. Then go to the ball and repeat. beauty. So that's my seven step learning program. I hope you enjoyed it and please subscribe on my channel here. Hit the red button below and accept notifications as well so you're notified as new helpful videos come out. My goal as always is to offer the fastest improvement possible and that's why I give so much free information away here on YouTube and this is based the basic program that I'll also use in schools with some advanced drills as well. And we also use video analysis, which I also offer members of my website for a very inexpensive price. So you can send in videos doing the drills and you also have full access then to my membership section, which has also a lot of videos and a lot of more in-depth information. So visit learninggolf.tv, check out my school information and membership and like this video. Thank you very much. I hope you have a great day.